Cancers, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the Gemini season, Cancer. It begins from the 21st until the um oh happy um birthdays you cancers the 21st of may until the 20th of june so cancers all right so cancers you have a cyclist over some sort of a new start some sort of a conflict that you were dealing with a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person is going to be over so a cycle is over and you are going to be having some sort of a new start um, the conflicts that some of you cancers were dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person this person is not older than 50 so this person is between the ages of 18 and 50 the cycle is now over with this person so whatever that you were dealing with this could be a Capricorn person because it is coming up as a young lady um, and this young lady um, uh, whoever this young lady is uh, I see they had no um they were they 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 never had any quarrel or competition that was going on um I see that you know this person is um clearing up a whole lot of issues I see the end for um your enemy I see sadness for a Leo whoever this Leo is and I see they recognize what a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn lawyer or a professional person have done. So let's get in it. So when we see the energy of the world, it is about Saturn. Saturn came in and uh, reorganized, reorganized something that was going on. Okay. Saturn came in and is ending a situation and I see a lot of you cancers are going to be happy that this situation has ended so it can be a Capricorn person is going to be coming in and is going to be resolving a situation for you and this is going to be good because I think that this Capricorn person is going to be standing up for you and it's going to be balancing out the situation and this is an old an old Capricorn person because this is this is the energy of someone who is vibrating on a very positive energy it is upright it is Saturn upright and this is someone old 50 years and older that is really um, going to be coming in and is going to be balancing out of a, a situation so this is good because this person is going to be bringing you um, and bringing an end to a situation where you are going to be successful because it's as if this older person recognize that um, some of you were treated unfairly like um, an older Capricorn person is recognizing that you cancer people were treated unfairly and this person is like this older Capricorn person is like protecting you from a situation and is really um, having your back and is really standing there and is really um, taking back and using divine justice in order to end some sort of a um, horrible situation that was affecting you Capric you cancer so this is actually very good because this is a Saturn and Saturn is bringing back discipline and order in a situation that has gone out of control the situation was like out of control it's like the situation was just really out of control no one had no idea what was um, happening and it's as if this Capricorn person came back and said hey no I'm bringing back control in this situation this situation has gone too far and um, I, I, I gotta balance out the situation so um, it could be um, a um, a older Capricorn person is going to be healing our older Capricorn reputation and there you are going to be celebrating with this person it's not against this person you're going to be celebrating with this person because this person came to balance bring back balance to an unconventional situation that was happening and this person you're going to be celebrating together with this older Capricorn person because they came in and they step in and rebalance some sort of a on so it's like clearing your karmas and as 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 if um, this older Capricorn person is going to be healing 
you older Capricorn, uh, Cancer people, repetition. Okay, so this is good. Is that you and them are both celebrating because they they are healing your reputation by bringing in Saturn. All right, so when we look at this situation, this is an, an air energy, and this is Uranus. So, and the energy with Uranus in the second week, week of the 28th of May until the 3rd of June. Um, what is transpiring with this energy is powerful because what we're recognizing is that uh, um, Uranus is coming in um, to give you a new start. All right. And, and this is good. And um, you are getting this new start um, because whoever this enemy is um this was um you're 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 walking away from your enemy uranius is removing this enemy this enemy could have been an aquarian this enemy could have been someone a corrupt civil servant this is definitely a corrupt civil servant and you young ladies you gotta be aware because i see some sadness is going to be happening for you young ladies, let's say that you young ladies has been creating a whole lot of problems. I see, and you get um, in contact with the law. I see that um, whatever is transpiring, you are under some sort of a investigation. Okay, it could have been if you work as a civil servant and you do something, a cycle is now going to be over. And I see some sort of a sadness is going to be coming up for you young ladies. So let's say that you young ladies work for, uh, as use your access at the workplace. So, and has been using it, um, and affected a lot of people. It's like a wake up call. Omega. Omega is like a wake up call. It's like you, Uranus is coming in and is waking you up. Okay. So for a lot of you, you're going to be thinking that someone was innocent or you are pleading innocent, but they know, and they have so much information on you that you're guilty. And this is going to be in the second week. The second week is the 28th until the 3rd of June. So a lot of you cancers, especially young people, this is really affecting young people are going to be, um, um, you know, saying, Oh, I'm innocent. I'm innocent to all the charges. And they're looking at you as if really, we have all the data on you. We have all the data on you. We know that you're not innocent. So there is just some, and, and it can be women or men, and I see that the cycle is going to be over. Whatever you have done and you were crying wolves and they're going to be recognizing, hey, you're crying wolves, but you are basically the wolf. So, you know, this is a situation where it's about judgment call. This is about Omega. This is about the universe saying, hey, cancers, you got to pay your karma. You got to repay your karma, cancer. You can't go like this anymore. This is karma time. So a lot of you cancers have been going through a lot of things. Some of you, um, a cycle, a new cycle is going to be um, coming in. Um, there you can see that. But young ladies um, who are caught for doing something and you are, um, you know, pretending as if you have no idea, you're pleading the fifth and that sort of a thing, it's not going to be working for you, okay? I can tell you that because there is like, Pay, you got to repay your karma. Omega is about the karma house. Okay. So, um, a lot of you cancers have a female enemy and this female enemy is a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person in the same age group. They are between the age of 18 and 50. So a lot of you cancers, um, you have a female rival. And whoever this female rival is, I see an end is coming in for this female rivalry. Okay. An end is coming in for your female rivalry. It's, it's your enemy. Um, this person is, it was competing against you. Um, whoever this person is, um, I see um, it could be a Leo. Whoever this person is was really competing against you. 
for some of you it's a Leo for some of you is a young Capricorn in the same age group so these people were between the ages of 18 and 50 let's look at the third week I see a whole lot of sadness a whole lot of sadness and um, the sadness is um, competition there was a whole lot of competition but this competition is over and a lot of you as a um, Saturn in Leo uh, I see an end for a Leo sadness for a Leo you Kansas and a Leo um, could have been having some sort of a rivalry conflicts with you and a Leo and I see a cycle is over for this Leo I see sadness for this Leo I see a whole lot of sadness for this Leo um, some of you cancers and this person is like in the same um, age group for some of you young people and whoever this person was um, they were your biggest enemy um, whoever this person is and there was a lot of rivalry between you and this person it doesn't have to be a Leo for some of you it is a Leo and whoever this Leo is is sudden because now they recognize what this Leo has done but for some of you this is a young person that was creating a whole lot of rivalry for a lot of you and I said a Leo and um, 11 11 comes up when I said the Leo so a lot of you cancers were dealing with a Leo and this Leo was your greatest enemy okay and a cycle is now over for this Leo because this Leo has been creating a whole lot of problems and issue for you cancers and they're now recognizing that a Leo has been the one that was creating a whole lot of problem because you're going to be successfully overcoming your enemy so there was a whole lot of competition and a whole lot of rivalry and um, with this is Mars and Leo and if you notice it's going to be over for you this competition and this rivalry but for this Leo I see sadness for this Leo as we look at the last week the last week is from the 11th until the 20th I see that also some of you were dealing with a young um, Capricorn lawyer Taurus Virgo or Capricorn lawyer but it's coming up as a Capricorn lawyer a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn lawyer a lot of you this was your enemy whoever this person is I see sadness for this person because people now recognize what this person have done you cancers have uh, could have collaborated with this young um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn lawyer or someone in civil servants or someone in the law and uh, um, together with a Leo and um, I see an end is coming up for these two persons and if you had done some sort of a um, collaboration with these people I see an end is going to be coming up because um, Saturn is coming in and it's going to be reorganizing a situation and they're going to be finding out what uh, you can says along with this young Taurus Virgo Capricorn uh, lawyer or civil servant have done and I see sadness is coming up for this person and you cancers especially cancers between the ages of 18 and 50 whatever you have done with this person they now recognize uh, um, what you have done with this person so there is some serious serious um, situation and I see whether this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn lawyer is this person is younger than 50 years old it's very sad and they were your greatest enemy and you weren't even aware of that and I see a cycle is over for this person because they, um, this person could be a civil servant and this person have um, worked together with you guys to on something that was not above water and they are you know they caught all of you now because uh, um, they recognize that uh, um, you cancers uh, together with an Aquarian um, a Leo and a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn person have created a whole lot of uh, um, fraud um, by fraud during documentation um, and uh, um, data and communication on people's computer um, changing data and information um, acquiring wealth on the false pretend and that sort of a thing for the rest of you cancers who were dealing with your enemy you were some of you cancers did not know that a, a Leo and a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person, um, a young person, was your 
biggest enemy this is now coming out people are now recognizing what was happening so a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming your enemy all right whoever your enemy is was a female a young female um that was your biggest enemy and you're going to be successfully overcoming this young female um because this person um is uh, um is uh, and is coming in for this person i see a whole lot of sadness for this person and this person is, it works in civil servants um this person is a civil servant okay and they were your 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 biggest enemy um I see that a Capricorn is going to be coming in in order to bring balance to a situation that has gone out of uh, uh, proportion. The, the situation, a situation has spin out of proportion. And a lot of people are going to be recognizing this. And a Capricorn, I see a lot of you are trying to balance out your reputation. All right, this is the house of the Capricorn and Uranus. Okay, and whatever that has been transpiring, a lot of you Pis uh, cancers are going to be wanting to heal your reputation in some ways because your reputation is at stake. And I see Saturn comes in to aware and uh, be let you cancers al alert of what have been happening and transpiring. Sadness for a young um, civil servant sadness for this young civil servant and it is two people um and they can be civil servants but sadness for a civil servant that is coming up but sadness for a young leo and sadness for a um taurus virgo or capricorn um person um this person is a young civil servant or they could have some sort of a high professional but i see sadness for this person um, some of you cancers this person is younger than 50 okay so um, I see sadness for this person I don't know whatever this person I've done and this person I've created a whole lot of issues and imbalance and I see the conflicts is now over between you and a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and I see a whole lot of sadness so um, that is going to be coming up whoever this person is is younger than 50 or younger than you let's say you're an older person um uh this is a situation where a, a ending is going to be coming in and this is someone who is in some sort of a, a service government institution um an advocate um uh, but this is like um government okay or or a lawyer or civil servants or social worker that sort of a thing all right because of something that come out sadness for a leo whoever this leo is and whatever this leo has done a whole lot of sadness is here for a leo this leo have created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue um a leo and their lawyer and um i see that people recognize what this leo and this lawyer has done and you cancers could have been showing this up or letting, um, you know, getting out of a situation and throwing them on the bus. However, this is coming up. I see sadness for a Leo, a lawyer, and um, a, um, whatever the competition that these people were creating around you. I see that this is going to be coming to an end. So wonderful, wonderful alignment of energies. And I'm asking you, cancers, please go check out who are these people. If you have a Leo that is a friend, a young Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person who is a friend, um, go check out these people to see what is happening and transpiring. How do they affect your life? Um, um, and then you are going to be recognizing who exactly um, these people are. Okay, because obviously... Um, there is a whole lot of uh, um, situation where you're going to be finding out uh, um, that uh, whoever these people are and whatever these people have done I see that you're going to be recognizing that these people have created a whole lot of problems for a lot of you so go check that out I do love you guys I gotta go remember to like share these reading Thumbs up and I'm saying namaste until next time.
Oh, I'm going to 